what is going on guys and welcome back to the road to nebula challenge on call of duty black ops 6 zombies so the goal of this challenge is very very simple i've got to get every single weapon on call of duty black ops 6 zombies that's possibly available currently to nebula camo and that involves doing a lot of things including getting 2000 headshot eliminations and then various other little challenges that are tied to each weapon in order to get them to the nebula camo but first of all we've got to get all the guns gold and then we've got to do things like the afterlife camo and the opal camo on top of it so there's a lot to do at the moment on the ak-74 and to be quite honest with the ak-74 i'd argue is better than the xm4 they're both very similar weapons it's been a really strong start so far as you can see in the gameplay i know it's early rounds but killing zombies i mean in the other rounds is the same anyway but it's a very easy gun to get headshots we've not had too many issues because i know some guns in this game have heard have a lot of uh, recoil so it may be more difficult but this gun feels like it has no real core whatsoever so even without dead shot daiquiri it's not much of an issue i decided to start with terminus once again but one like, like i said in the last video i flipped between liberty falls and terminus um just to have a balanced experience i'm not playing the same map over and over and over again getting this weapon pack a punch wasn't really much of a problem or getting pack a punch or anything like that so straight away once i got the pack a punch machine activated i actually went ahead straight away afterwards and upgraded the weapons rarity to uncommon tier so um i mean upgrading the weapon tier doesn't make your gun that much stronger compared to pack a punch but it's always helpful because what i find sometimes is when these guns are unpack a punch without any weapon, weapon rarity whatsoever or even pack a punch they feel a lot weaker in comparison so it's always nice to have that weapon rarity added on so as you can see at the moment it's green rarity i've got hardly any ammo but you know what my gun's like a little bit more powerful when i come to pack a punch it in a second it's going to be a much better weapon as a result so eventually after a few more kills and a few more buying of the ammo um, I managed to pack a punch my weapon to tier 1 making the gun a lot better to use as a whole I mean every gun pack a punch is much better and if you don't pack a punch your weapons to do these camo challenges you're off your head there's no way you're doing it in a very quick speed um, so I'd highly recommend always go for the pack a punch and always upgrading your weapon rarity best you can when I've noticed what I've been doing when I've been doing this as well, it's always best to get the weapon upgrades out of the way first, then perks after, just so you've got that optimal chance in killing zombies more effectively. Yes, perks are important, but with Black Ops 6 mechanics and the game as a whole is not too difficult. Um, you could easily um, not really buy Juggernaut or Quit Revive or anything like that, or even Deadshot. Um, there's not really much of an issue you should always try to upgrade your weapon first if you can so because um, what happens is in the higher tiers so for example tier 2 pack punch is 15,000 points and then to get tier 3 it's 30,000 points and I think it's best to get to those as quickly as you can now in this first game I ended up getting Juggernaug and Deadshot Daiquiri I mean I waited as long as I could but he was getting to the high rounds I feel like in this game sometimes you run out of ammo really really quickly and this was the case with the AK unfortunately and let's just say this game as, as you see on the screen here doesn't last, last too much longer so I'm currently using the strategy on the ship where you can train around but my training skills were not up to par for some reason it was quite embarrassing actually so I'd already died as it is um, previously and that was pretty embarrassing in itself I'm not showing gameplay of that because I'm not humiliating myself in any way shape or form as much as I need to but you know what it is what it is um i mean the ship strategy is okay if you do it properly but when you're not a coordinated human being like me it can go wrong very very quickly and here's some gameplay of my final stand clearly getting myself trapped like an idiot and getting completely swarmed and destroyed yeah i mean i'm not sure about the cutscene though because the cut I, I died on the ship and that shows me dying on the island so not good tryout, you need to fix that, that's disgraceful, really really bad, only kidding, on a serious note, I could have done better in that game, but you know what, I've got a fair few critical kills, didn't do too terribly, um, but I've got a long way to go, and you know what, I think in my next couple of games I can really really improve this, as long as I stay focused. So as you can see so far we've got four camos and we're um, a fair bit away to the fifth camo but nothing too crazy at the moment we've got a lot to do so let's get this fixed. 
And for some unknown and ridiculously stupid reason, I decided to load up a save file. And for some reason, I thought it was the AK-74, but it wasn't. It was the XM4. I clearly didn't remember that I died in the previous game. And yeah, let's just say this never happened. Let's move on, yeah? So this time around, I decided to load up a game of Liberty Falls. And I did use the Rampage Inducer. So in my last video of the XM4, I was a bit like scared of the Rampage Inducer. But you know what? In today's video, I felt a little bit more confident and a little bit more with it. So I thought, you know what? Let's just go for it. Let's just see where this thing can go. Because there's a challenge on this game. We have to get to round 15 or above with the Rampage Inducer without switching it off. And I thought, you know what? Let's have a go at this challenge and let's see what happens. And lord and behold, I was able to be brave, and as you can see on this gameplay, I'm still on round 15 with the Rampage Inducer switched on, and there's just an abomination which is causing me a few problems. Abominations and Liberty Falls are really annoying. I imagine with the Wonder Weapons, they're a lot more easy to deal with, but when you're using standard weapons, it can become a bit of a problem. Because you have to shoot the three heads off, we well, don't have to shoot the three heads off, because if you don't aim for the heads, they just take forever to kill. It's important to get critical heal kits, so yeah, these things were just an absolute nightmare. And I don't know what it is about Liberty Falls in particular, or, and it's the same in Terminus. The amount of manglers and um, things that do spawn in these maps in the later rounds is absolutely ridiculous. Just thought I'd put that out there. But anyway, here's me just finishing up round um, 15, getting to round 16 with the Rampage and Yusha, still switched on. And yeah, this is me getting the X fill. And when it eventually gets to it, I level up and I'm going, ooh, have I completed the challenge? And lord and behold, boom, I got the outrageous calling card. So you know what? progress has been made in other areas doing this um, camo grind so it's all worth the while I guess. I didn't keep the rampage inducer on whatsoever um, to be quite honest with you because um, there was no point in the end and I thought you know what let's just carry things on as normal just to slow the pace down a bit so I'm not overwhelmed too much but Unfortunately, there was a bit of an issue with the match. I don't know if you can see in the gameplay here, but the screen went really, really blurry out of the blue. It was like someone got Vaseline and just smudged it all over the screen. I mean, look at this. I mean, playing in this was absolutely horrendous. And I was a bit like, what do I do? Because this is unbearable. This is probably going to make people feel dizzy looking at this. And it was making me feel a bit weird to tell you. So I do apologise in advance. Probably should have warned you before. But... In retrospect, this is what was going on, and I was a bit like, I can't kill zombies like this, this is going to be really difficult, because it was distracting like hell, and it was very, very annoying, so what I had to do is I ended up, in the end, just quitting the game and restarting, not quit and restarting it, as in, like, I, I saved and quitted it, because I was a bit like, you know what, can't carry on like this, because this is going to be absolute hell otherwise. So at round 26, I completely bailed out, I saved and quit the game because that was very painful and I was just praying at this point that this would be the method to work because if it didn't, I'd have to reset the game. There's no way in hell I was going to play in these conditions, which would rather start round one and give myself eye strain. Anyway, in terms of progress, so as you can see, I leveled up, blah de blah de blah and surprisingly enough, I ended up getting um, quite close in terms of cameras, doing really, really well. Got the Oceanic camo, um, so I quickly checked my loadout to see how much camo... Like, so the Liberty Falls game is there, but before I started that, I beg your pardon, I went to the loadout. Just to show you the camera progress, really. And to be honest, we're pretty close. We've got to get 1,500 headshots and 2,000 headshots, and we're pretty close. So, you know what? Onwards and upwards, and things are looking up. Um, but unfortunately, I made a very stupid mistake in round 29. I thought it was a good idea to start a Samantha trial while there was loads of zombies behind me. And let's just say I get myself trapped in the church in a the challenge where you have to stay in the zone and there was absolutely no chance i mean look at this this was insane i was getting absolutely slaughtered there was no way i was getting out of this so i do die and i thought you know maybe there's some hope maybe i can get out of this but no chance there were zombies surrounding the whole area manglers you name it it was a complete catastrophe and unfortunately this is where i come to my demise so that is my uh technically my second game and yeah not impressing myself, the abominations munching on me there, and um, yeah, um, great, but I did get to a good round, kind of. So I ended up playing another game of Terminus, so I changed it up once again to Terminus, I do find Terminus to be a bit more enjoyable because the map's bigger, there's a lot more to do. 
and this actually ends up being my last match for the AK-74. I was shocked myself I did it in a much faster speed compared to the XM4. Don't believe me, check out the moment when I get the gold, gold camo. You have to get all the critical kills after getting all of the other challenges completed with this um, gun. Boom, Mystic Gold achieved and that is our second weapon down. So that's going to be it for today's video. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys for the next weapon. Peace out.